shortened name. I go by Maggie. Maggie. Oh, you don't remember? No, because he would have been doing most of the hard time. time. Really? But when did you get that? Let me see. guys so we just finished our first day of class and so um, we had lecture on blackboard and um, lab was on campus so at 9 a.m. we had lecture on blackboard and then at I don't even know what time it was but we had lab and we actually got to dissect a cadaver um, it's four people in my group and uh, I think it's about like five different groups. Yeah, because it was like five cadavers. So, so yeah, we, um, day one is complete. Do you guys want to say hi or no? I always have to ask first. Do you look okay? Are you going to edit this? Of course. This is hey, my roommate, Maya. She's from I've Miami. never been on somebody's uh, YouTube before, so I'm kind of nervous. Are we going to be on YouTube channel? Yes, she's going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not famous yet, but I'm the getting there. Real. I'm getting there. I'm in my beginning stages. I wanted but, to start a YouTube channel, but I know I want to be consistent. Do you know Adana is here? No, but you told me about Okay, so I'm back in my apartment, but yeah, so today I got to touch my first cadaver. I have a male. I'll be using that cadaver for the rest of this, for the rest of the duration of this program. Um, and we're going to be dissecting the thoracic cavity, which is your chest area, like the ribs, lungs, heart, all of that, and the lower extremity, which is the leg. So I'm excited. Um, I'm glad I didn't pass out or anything like that, um, but it's definitely an experience for real. Okay, y'all, so wow, it is day one still, and I am already studying, like, a lot. Um, so with the introduction, introductions always seem to be the most lengthy um, amount of information because it's like catching you up on what you should have already learned in like undergrad or whatever so we're talking about like all of the systems in one chapter and it's just like bringing back so many flashbacks with all these terms and everything that I learned like a couple years ago and man it's our bodies are so complicated it, they're so complex that it's so much to take in all at one time so i have to get back in the groove of like studying because i haven't been in school since may of 2020 and i know people in grad school like people in grad school can be any age they can be in all walks of life so it's people that has been out of school for two three four five ten fifteen years and they decide that they want to go to grad school so I know I shouldn't even be complaining at this point right but my memory is shot and I'm remembering like some stuff is coming back but some stuff is like what is this again I can't remember but yeah um, I think this is where I'm gonna close out my day one of the gap workshop program and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, hey y'all, it is day two and I am done with classes for today. It is two o'clock, but we got out a little late today. Um, we got out around like 1.15 out of that section. Um, lab dissection class. So today we got to start actually dissecting our cadaver um, and we basically we're starting with the thoracic cavity so we made an incision we made several incisions so we had 
an incision starting from the jugular notch all the way down to the xiphoid process. I know these terms might not mean anything to people who aren't in the medical field or whatever, but I'm just trying to explain it. So from here to here, we made an incision. Then we made another incision from here to here, from like your clavicle to your shoulder, then down the shoulder to like halfway um, through the arm on both sides. And then we just cut around the circumference of it. And then we also made like incision lines uh, throughout the the large incision that we made, we made um, more flaps. So basically our patient, our cadaver is, has like a whole bunch of like flaps. Like his chest is open now, it's just, it's wide open. And <laughs> you just see like, it's like a lot of yellow adipose tissue, which is also our fat. Um, and we made sure that when we were dissecting, when we were pulling off the skin, we didn't cut too deep. We wanted to stay superficial, which means closer to the surface. So as you like pulled with the scissors, the hemostat, as you pull with the hemostat, you cut suck the skin off as you go along with the uh, scapula. I think it's scapula. I'm thinking like spatula in my head. <laughs> but yeah, so we just did that. Um, it was a group effort. So that's as far as we got today. But I think that was that was a pretty good start for a dissection. It's not too difficult. We were kind of nervous at first. When I say we, I'm talking about me and my uh, my group mates. It's four of us. Um, but yeah, uh, the lab was really fun today. Um, lecture was lecture. We're still going over introduction, introductory terms like flexion, extension, lateral rotation, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, so that's day two. Um, I can't, I don't think I can show you guys the cadaver. I don't think that's allowed, but I'll find some other content for you guys to look at so you just won't be watching me talk. Uh, and today is actually Thursday. We only have class Monday through Thursday, so I'm off tomorrow and I won't be back until Monday. So I will see y'all on Monday. I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every single time that I post a new video, which might be actually two times a week right now because I'm just feeling it. You know, I'm just feeling it. So, but if not, every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, I forgot I'm in Eastern Standard Time now, so I wonder how that works. Just an hour ahead, but yeah. Catch you guys in my next video.